Welcome to Straight No Chasers YouTube channel, and welcome to the club. We really appreciate you being here. If you haven't been here before, we just have two simple rules. Respect everybody's opinion, and allow everybody to speak. If you follow those two rules, we will get along just fine. If you haven't followed any of the mods in the club, please do at this time. Click the green house at the top and join the club. If you violate those two rules, we will send you to Goo York City. Other than that, welcome to Straight No Chasers. That's a fact. You'd have, like, stand on your square, what you said. For people to really take you serious, I'm just gonna be real. Like all. Oh, how long? How much time? I, I don't know, but all. I mean, I'll never take her serious. At least yeah, three months. Like, it's been. Hey, y'all chill like, out. Let let her and Wack have this conversation, y'all. Yeah, Stop with all that ad lib. Y'all gonna chill. Because listen, like on some real shit, we've heard that we've seen that this is dropped in Discord. He did this. He. I swear to God, I'm this. Wack, I just want to come, and I don't want to do this. Can you keep him from bothering me over here and this and that and all this? And then we look up, and then you tell me, I'm like, Aubrey, where you been? You ain't been on the morning show. You tell me, War Organic says I shouldn't be over there. I didn't get mad. I said, okay, shit, he got his bitch back. That's what's going on. Like, we didn't take you from him. You just said you wanted to come over there and work with us on the morning show. So what yeah. I'm saying is, you didn't went back and came, and he didn't violated you, so you say, right, so many times, and you tell us what you're not doing, and you go do it. Nobody's gonna take you serious till we look up and say, "Yo, it's been two, three months. You might be serious now." But whack, I was doing what I was supposed to do. When you decide to be with a nigga, you're supposed to do what he says. It was the it was but the right intentions, you you wrong you nigga. nigga. Right intentions, wrong nigga. This is the problem. This is the problem. When y'all see a woman actually submit to a man, even though he's a motherfucking lunatic. Then why won't y'all say, oh, well, she would why definitely you submit. Why him a lunatic? I don't think organic is a lunatic. Oh, gosh. I'm going to call you Okay, later. well, let me ask you a question, Aubrey. This real shit. You... No, no, no. Look, because I, I'm, I'm curious about this, right? I don't, I don't really know organic, but I don't think he's a type to just do some shit to do some shit. Something had to happen for him to do whatever it is. No. Whack, you know those people who just because you don't no, want to fuck right, with them no, anymore. What happened? It had to be an argument. You, no, you. I kicked him out. I paid a thousand dollars to kick him out the Discord. He acted cool for a day, and then he did revenge porn. Wait, you gave mother? Wait, hold on. You paid who a thousand dollars? Curtis. Oh wow. Who keeps dropping so he mad down? That, Let him up, y'all. He's mad that. Another nigga pimped his bitch. I be mad too. But you know what? <laughs> 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 you could have gave me a five hundred, I wouldn't have went back. Just talk, organic. Don't oh, play the uh, well, don't play well, the audio. So whack. Mind. This is the thing. I understand. You, do, you know no, those I mother. You know those. You know those people that just because you don't want to fuck with them anymore, they bother you. Okay, I get that, but I'm that. Saying, that is what's going on so right I'm, now. I'm saying is we all know that. Organic Man. is your like that's your guy. No, right? uh, it was was past. Well, you just said it was like it was. I've been saying it was when I, I call. I talked to you last week. Yeah, but Ain't you nothing see how changed. I listen to you and I don't really because I'd be like, in my eyes, Man. organic gives you like four to seven days, and then he just reel you in when he wants no. to. No, the 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 nice. cons outweigh the pros. And I'm gonna be real. The by fact, 100, the what, fact by that you, said you haven't uh, seen him, Aubrey, Aubrey, the fact that that shout you haven't pros, seen him, title change, the cons outweigh the pros by 100. Look, the fact that you haven't seen him and he has like that type of right lets me know the man body. He bought his conversation. He's a man. Okay. Well, there's a lot of men about their conversation. And the thing about it is I'm about my conversation too. So next. Oh, okay. All right. well, I'm just And there's, a, the there's a whole bunch of lot more men willing to, willing to like, show their face I, on FaceTime I, when I'm on FaceTime. That's yeah. weird as fuck. Now that I think about it, insecure ass nigga. I don't give a fuck. Y'all want? Boy, do I have to pack this oh, nigga yeah, up? You, he you, never you, showed you. his face on Facetime to this motherfucking day. Do I need to pack this nigga up for y'all to uh, take me seriously? Because honestly, I don't want any more interaction at all. But like, what is it? Because no, I've never disrespected Wack. I've never disrespected Herm. If I fuck with you, I don't. If I fuck with you as a man, I don't curse you out or disrespect you. 
Because I don't, you trying to paint organic as he's some type of stalker lunatic. He, he got a whole restraining order okay. on him, and now he got another one filed. I filed for a restraining order as well, along oh, with the police report. Clubhouse restraining orders is crazy. No, exactly. No. Yes. Leave people hey, alone. Hey, Aubrey. Aubrey. That's crazy. Look, Aubrey. Aubrey. Hey, Wack, I'm here, man. What's up? You brought the folks energy. Who oh, that? That's her major. That's yeah. FBA yeah. Kang. That's, that's, that's FBA Kang. Yo, bro. For like four months, I've seen Aubrey tell me she's vacating, I'm leaving. He did this. He done that. He exposed this. He did this, that. And you look up and Aubrey be right back over there, right? So what I'm telling Aubrey is it's going to take at least two, three months of me really seeing that that's what it is for me to take you serious. Okay, got it. So in two, three months, you'll do something about it. Is that what you're saying? Do what? At that point in time, there's nothing to do about it because I don't believe the man will be even paying you. You don't attention. believe that? Okay. I, 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 I believe he's still going to be harassing me forever and ever until the nigga go to jail or get hurt. I really do. Why would you want him to go to jail or get hurt? Because he won't leave me alone. That's, that's wild, Aubrey. <clears throat> yeah, but you was right back over there. I was. Not anymore. Oh, not hey, in. Obs, look. We just heard respect. I'm gonna call you. We just heard exactly. We just heard Brother Wax say he needs to see you show and prove, and then you know, based on your actions, that's how he'll base his actions. But look, we ain't trying to hear all that shit, Wax. I got a question for you. Why you here? How you doing, bro? What up? What up, bro? You already know what everybody want to know, man. How do you what, feel? What happened? About the six nine shit, was it real? Was it an ass whooping? Bro, first of oh, all, her, what I've been telling niggas for a year, and they. These niggas Everybody meet up. One mic I've on been whack. saying her, bro, he ain't got no security. These niggas is capping, bro. They just ain't looking for... The nigga be everywhere. You niggas ain't trying to do nothing. Y'all running your mouth. You ain't going to do nothing anyway. Dude is running around everywhere without security. How long I been saying that, her? I know I heard you say it in your... Bro, wait, wait, bro wait, wait, the nigga wait, wait, been wait, like... Wait, wait, bro, so... And like, this real shit. You did what you done, right? So you got something coming to you, right? So this is really a gift and a curse one. It's a curse. You probably got a few broken ribs, jaw fucked up, whatever. That's cool. But you walked out of there. The gift is... The gift is... He's still living so he can... He can restructure his program. You know, something, bro, it could have been a knife involved. It could have been brass knuckles involved. It could have been a gun involved. Right? So, you know, the fact that he's living to see another day and make adjustments, man, go pay two niggas 10000 a month. That's a quarter million a year. You make a half a million a show, what's the problem? Like, you did what you done, so it's shit that come with that. It's just real shit. When I'm, when I'm sitting down having business meetings with him, Herm, I accept the fact that I might have to do something to somebody while I'm sitting with this man because if they come, I'm not going to sit back and wait to see what they going to do to who and what. I'm a, I'm I'm going to do what I got to do to make sure I'm straight. So this is why I do what I got to do and I get out the way. But, bro, you cannot do that kind of shit and think you just going to run around forever, right? You know, it ain't nothing going to happen. So, Especially with clout today, bro. So they didn't do a, that for them for them Negroes. They don't even like Negroes. The people that did that, they don't fuck with us. That whole movement don't fuck with us. They did that for clout. You heard that nigga say, "Turn the camera on." I want to be famous too. So as far as you know, on on six nine side, it was not a publicity stunt. It was no, real. he really got that, his ass off, bro. Not yeah. only that, Herm. Let me tell you, you attorney, you know this. Listen, the fact that they wrote on there, this is how you do a rat. And with they movement, they little gang on there, right? And they were saying what they were saying. Dude is a federal informant that's still on federal parole. If you think them people, this is them people ain't gonna go see them dummies that that videotape themselves. You crazy? Let me tell you who this is gonna help. Troy Av, the Gunners, and all the rest of them niggas that did the telling. It's gonna help them. Because the feds is going to make an example out of them on what happens to you if you get caught fucking with these informants. Believe that. Exactly. Ain't going to be no 6 9 told. He ain't got to tell. You told on your goddamn self. That's they, what's so they, crazy. They, this real shit. They are going to make... Bro, that's a hate crime. The minute they wrote what they wrote and said we doing this because you was a rat, right? 
and this is in the name of such and such and such gang, nigga, you got special circumstances coming. You got a assault with you got great violence. Yeah, you got enhancements coming, bro. That's why I said on my post, you whooped a nigga ass for snitching and then turned around and snitched on yourself. Gee. Clown is the new crack cocaine. Man, it was worse than crack. Gee, you just said these people just for clout went to jail. They chasing jail time for clout. What up? That's crazy. Hey, the what? The beat was good today. Hey, she what? She was there. What up? Yeah, so, I mean, Herm, you know, I'm going to keep it 100. Do I feel like it was supposed to happen? Yes, definitely something was supposed to happen. Right? Because you did what you did. That's just what comes along they with it. They said he was at a game fucking with some Puerto Ricans or something, talking shit like a few a few nights before that. No, he just said he doesn't embrace his Puerto Rican side because his father wasn't there for him. He embraces the uh, Chicano or the Mexican side because of his mother. That's what he said. He didn't disrespect him or nothing. He don't I know his you. dad. He don't know his dad, right? So, But, I mean, bro, like, her, come on, bro. If you go rob a nigga for $100 million dollars, and you get away. If you waking up every day telling yourself ain't nothing going to happen, then something wrong with you. You don't know when it's going to happen, fact. but it's something you got to play your life. And I understand it. And this is why I tell people when they say, well, whack, you say you're not a gangbanger, but you say you still a paro. Yeah, I'm not a gangbanger. I don't hate the crip. Boy, two of these little crip niggas just walked to my office right now. I don't hate a crib. I don't give a fuck about what color you got on. But the shit I done did up under this Paru flag, I can't never forget because there's some niggas in this world that's not going to forget. So the minute I detach and say, hey, I'm a Christian, I'm a Muslim, and, you know, that's not my way of living, that's when a motherfucker going to knock my noodle. Fuck you, nigga. I still got these slugs in my body I feel every winter. Fuck you, nigga. My mama's still crying, right? Some shit you just can't forget. And what he did, he could never live down because on top of what he did, he antagonizes and makes fun of about what he did. And that makes it even worse. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's a gift and a curse. It's a curse because it happened to him. He got a little public humiliation coming on. I'm pretty sure he used to that. But it's a gift because he could have been like Draco the ruler. He could have got stabbed in the neck. Nigga been dead. If they got that close to do that to you, they could have did anything to you. That's a fact. That's crazy. He walked out, Herb. He walked out. We ain't, we could catch a nigga in the bathroom like that and we maxing him out. Oh, uh, he ain't walking out. They might carry him out. You not walking out that motherfucker talking. So they, he, they looked out for him. They just, they just, as we say, Herb, tighten him up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't, you know. Herb, you know, bro. A, yeah, they let bathroom, him Bathroom, nigga. Ain't no running. You on the boy. And then, look, there was some, there wasn't no young niggas. Them niggas nah, was some big ass grown men. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? So they really, they could have really, you know, did him with some kind of way. But it is what it is, bro. You know, you read what you sow. Every action is a reaction. Everybody better know that. You know, if you one of them dudes used to whoop your baby mama ass and her uncle and brother's been in prison and they finna get out, nigga expect something might happen when they see you. That's it. That's, nigga, this is the world we live in. Straight up. If Aubrey running the organic, expect Aubrey to give organic some head. It is what it is, bro. <laughs> no, G. I'm fucking what? dead. Oh, my God. What nigga, Aubrey to loves to organic. I believe if she ever sees organic Who's face to face and he gives Who's her a hug, I believe Aubrey would go downtown and marry him on the spot. Holy father. Oh, she ain't never see the man's face, though. She said that. Well, she was supposed to win and visit him at... Yeah, go ahead. She was supposed to win and visit him. Well, no, she didn't go. For Thanksgiving, or something, that nigga organic, a cold hey, nigga. Whack, that whack. Nigga, the last I fuck person with that organic. fell out with their team came over to death row, came over here to, 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 to Big Mage, and, you know, then we gave him to you. Yeah, Nurse Nikki. You talking about Nurse up. Nikki? Yes, sir. Now, Nikkei, yeah, Nurse Nikki definitely she fell out over there, over there. Did you pick her up? Something happened. You I'm right, you definitely, man. You know, FBI. Oh no, hey, what's so, man? Understand. First of all, I'm saying whatever you doing, you doing. I'm just letting you know that as of right now, nigga, we didn't heard this cry for Wolf a million times. Arby definitely 
is a great addition to anybody's team. Okay. But what happens is, what happens is, I've never done nothing to Aubrey. When organic get in her ear, nigga, she shuts down and disappears. And I'm not mad at organic because his game is right. I it wasn't trying organic to, ain't got no goddamn game. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey, bro, when it comes to Aubrey, bro, listen what I'm telling you. Aubrey asked me to come to my floor for like two months. I let Aubrey on. She was a great addition. She was the yin to the yang, right? And then out of nowhere, she just disappeared. And I was like, damn, what happened? The fuck? What? And then by the time I talked to her, Aubrey, what happened? Some Somebody did some on stage. She said, no, organic said I couldn't be over there no more. Holy father. But for no reason, right? But... And, but before that, she was like, whack, I just need a safe place where I can go on stage and I have to worry about organic. I said, well, I don't think he's going to come over here fucking with you. I can't. He catch you one of them back houses. And I can't control that, but I don't think he's going to do that over here. And he never did it. Hey, whack, for whack. Whatever, you remember Julio, right? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, Holy see, don't start me. This nigga here, bro. Yo, her, this nigga right here is hell, bro. I don't <laughs> I think it's major hell. But we'll see, bro. Hey, maybe you got to. Uh, you know, I don't know. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like, subscribe to the video, and follow us on all social media platforms. Come back daily to see new content or shit we throw up just to keep your day going. Remember, we put out nothing but premium content. The one, the only. Straight No Chasers.